Good morning everybody at Mission Control. Well today we're going to go ahead and continue the flashback series and this is one of the more important lessons learned that we had during the build and we're going to talk about civil engineering and French drain. So this video is dedicated to all you civil engineers out there. I really have come to appreciate what you do. Thank you. Let's get started. So one day uh, come home and there is a bunch of standing rain everywhere. The entire site has turned into one big pond and I go inside the building and I look on the sides here and I see we have water seepage coming through this is on the south side of the building and we also have water coming in uh, here's a closer look at it um, basically anywhere there's an edge there's water coming in now there's flaps that go under the ground that stop a large portion of it so it's not as bad as what it could be but here the gravel's all wet from the front door so we obviously have a water problem and uh, there's about an inch of standing water on the build site when I did this. Here you can see the ground actually cracking here. Uh, this is no bueno. Um, so we're going to have to fix this. Um, and then I walk to the back side of the building and what this shot is, you can't really tell, but this is actually the fill dirt starting to crack away. Uh, even though we did lots and lots of compacting on it, the fill dirt there on the side of the hill actually was starting to seep down and crack. So that was definitely a oh boy moment. Uh, so it was time for French drains. You know, I knew I needed to do French drains. I just couldn't get to it soon enough. So this forced our hand. So here we're doing a French drain in front of the solar panels and basically a French drain around the entire building. And a French drain, uh, for those that don't know, um, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a fancy French name. Uh, because it has the word French in it for um, a ditch that moves water away uh, from where you don't want water. So you dig uh, about a 12 inch deep, one foot deep uh, hole, a uh, trench, and then you run it out someplace where, uh, in this case, out into the field where the water can actually drain and not hurt anything. So we ended up putting drainage around the entire building, around the solar panels. Uh, the solar panels needed it, so the water, uh, when it ran off, would just go right into it and as soon as we got the trench dug, it actually started working. It was pretty amazing. In fact, uh, story, so uh, this took me, it, it was wet, uh, rainy, and there's the gravel going in the bottom, and then you put the pipe on top of it. Uh, it was wet and rainy, and it really decided to just get torrential downpour, and it filled up the entire, entire trench before I was able to put the pipe in it. I was so mad. Uh, I was like, oh, come on, God, really? And then uh, I realized that actually that rain came down and it backed up. I found out that the I didn't have enough pitch in my um, trench. And had that water, had that rain not come, I would have put a French drain in that one of work. So uh, as soon as I figured that out, the rain actually stopped. And I am not exaggerating. Um, and it's kind of been a big lesson in this project that, you know, sometimes things go wrong. Uh, here's the pipe going in, by the way. That's just your perforated four inch pipe um, with a sock, sock around it. You can get it at your pipe store. I uh, went local and got it. Anyway, so yeah, sometimes things go wrong and you're just, you're all mad. You think, you know, nothing's going right for me, but those things happen for a reason. In this case, God filled that trench up showed me where the problem was at and I was able to fix it and as soon as I saw as soon as I recognized the air of my ways that rain stopped and it was a downpour so uh, yeah that's a nice little story there it, um, anyway it definitely helped me out so yeah we got the pipe going in and I think here's the back side of the building everything's connected we're draining it all out uh, down into where there's lots of grass now this uh, spring I'll be planting this entire hillside with grass uh, we just couldn't get to it in time before the snow came. So uh, we'll have it way reinforced. And already with some of the cracking and stuff, I've already backfilled it uh, because of some of the digging I had to do elsewhere. And then we covered the entire thing uh, with drainage rock. And it actually works really, really well. As soon as I got it in, water was flowing through it. It was amazing. And uh, everything did uh, mostly dry out. Now, we still do have a challenge inside of the building. Uh, nowhere near what it was uh, thanks to the French drains being in but uh, the concern really is during the winter when all that water and moisture freeze and uh, how is that going to impact the inside of the building 
and the shelves that are going to be right there. So we're going to definitely, when we're designing phase three, we're going to have to design a solution to make sure that that, um, I think it's a ground block or something like that is what it's called, but we'll have to make sure that's put in place. So yeah, uh, the French drain, again, that was something that I knew I needed to get to, uh, but everything else just made higher priority. So that rainstorm came, it forced my hand. Uh, it all, you know, at the time it was really frustrating like what I was saying, but once I got through it and then I saw the reasoning that God had me go through those lessons, uh, it was pretty apparent that he had my back. Uh, so that's a little testimony there. Um, they, they really do work well. And again, we're going to have to do some design stuff for phase three here when we put lanes one and four in the building, which are the most exterior set of lanes. And that's where those shots of water and stuff are at. So we are going to have to address that. Uh, I'm open to ideas, so feel free to make suggestions. Send me an email at trm at therealmartian.com if you like. Uh, pictures are great. And uh, take this opportunity. Many of you have sent me emails uh, with engineering drawings, whether you did it in CAD or on a napkin or anything in between. I, I just want you to know I am really, really thankful. I'll be honest, I'm a little overwhelmed right now, uh, just trying to get everything going, maintain my day job, run the ranch, make the videos, um, and everything. So uh, I don't get back to everybody, but I do try. And everything that you guys send in, as long as you send it in knowing that I may or may not get to it, don't get mad if I don't, but I actually do read everything uh, that's sent to my email. So. And I try to read the comments as well, but there's just so many uh, these days. I think I'm just not going to be able to keep up with it. So uh, if you really do want to reach out and give me a holler, uh, please shoot me that email. I, I, again, if I can't get back to you, don't feel that I don't appreciate what you did because I know it takes a lot of time to put those drawings together and a lot of work. So uh, today is a great day. I'm going to be taking Mrs. Martian out. We're going to take a little vacation this weekend, just a little romantic getaway to celebrate Valentine's Day. She really deserves it. She's quite an awesome gal. I'm so blessed to have her in my life. So thank you, God, for her. And uh, so you're not going to see a video come up in the next day or two, but uh, we'll get back to it uh, in this next week. So everybody, if you enjoyed this movie, uh, <clears throat> mm. everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and if you hit that little notification bell to the left of subscribe, uh, you'll get notified anytime I put up a new video. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian, out.